All right, 48, we're in the same section. We're still multiplying, and they've given us the quantity 7 plus radical 5 squared. So 7 plus radical 5 squared. And when you see this square, what does it mean when we want to square something? Well, what it means is we're going to write it out twice, especially in this case when we are dealing with a binomial. Let's write it out twice. So 7 plus radical 5, 7 plus radical 5, and now FOIL. So first, that's our FOIL, or the F, outer, there's O, inner, there's the I, and then last, there's our L. So 7 times 7, well that gives us 49. 7 times radical 5, well that's going to be plus 7 radical 5. And then 5 times 7, or excuse me, radical 5 times 7 is going to be plus 7 radical 5. And then we'll have 5 times, radical 5 times radical 5 is going to be plus radical 25. And then let's go ahead and clean this up a little bit. We have 49. We can now add these two together, can't we? Because we have identical radicals. And when we have identical radicals, that makes these two terms like terms. So let's go ahead and simply add those, co add those coefficients. So we have 7 plus 7, so that gives us plus 14 radical 5. And now plus, well, what is radical 25? That can come out free and clean as a 5. And then lastly, we'll combine some like terms here. 49 plus 5 is going to give us 54 and then plus 14 radical 5. And there you have it, number 48.